We were looking for a place that we didn't have yet. We have a great Italian restaurant. We have a great steak restaurant, you know, DC and Sortino's. Now we have Cinco Nino. Get ready to tantalize your taste buds and embark on a culinary adventure. This is Pocono Mountains Podcast, Season 4, Episode 2. I'm your host, Jim Hamill. Pocono Mountains Restaurant Week runs April 7th to April 12th, 2024, when foodies and connoisseurs alike will have the opportunity to savor the finest flavors the region has to offer with exclusive, special menus and deep discounted dishes. Whether you're local to the Poconos or will be visiting the area during Restaurant Week, it's the perfect opportunity to discover delicious, new-to-you eateries that you'll want to visit again and again. Head to PoconoMountains.com to see an entire list of restaurants and menus taking part, as well as their specials they're offering. Now, the French Manor, a triple-A Ford Diamond-rated restaurant, invites you to indulge in their new spring menu during Restaurant Week. Guests can enjoy 25% off all appetizers and soups. We recently featured a lengthy podcast with Bridget and Jenny at the French Manor back in Season 3, Episode 39. Give it another listen. Same with last week's deep dive on Settler's Hospitality, including Settler's Inn, another participant in Restaurant Week. We'll have a few more from across the Poconos, including two in Milford and another at Kalahari. More on that in a bit. The Poconos is a year-round destination for millions. With 2,400 square miles of mountains, forests, lakes, and rivers, with historic downtowns and iconic family resorts, it's the perfect getaway. You can always find out more on PoconoMountains.com or watch PTN, the Pocono Television Network, streaming live 24-7. Now, back to the episode. Two restaurants in Milford are just the tip of the culinary iceberg there. The recently revamped Bar Louie and the historic Hotel Faucher. We featured the new menu items there on a recent Pocono Mountains magazine. Plus, Chris Barrett met with Andrew at the Dimmick Inn to learn all about the wood-fired pizza there. Both are participating in Restaurant Week. Enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Jim Hamill and we are in downtown Milford right now at the historic Hotel Faucher. Now this place has been around for many, many years now, but downstairs is where if you're hungry and also looking for a great cocktail, you can head to Bar Louie for its entirely revamped menu and an all new atmosphere right under the hotel. Come check it out. What we tried to do here is keep what was great about this restaurant because it has a lot of fanfare. It has been one of the places that people come to when they kind of want to escape and feel like they're maybe in Manhattan. With a new menu and a cocktail menu too, Bar Louie is back with a little swagger. Steve Rosato is extremely proud of what's new here and also what's iconic about the view at the bar. One of the focal points of the room, one of the features is obviously the picture that's behind the bar. Um, that's one of three. One of the three is actually in a museum um, and the other one's held by, by a world-renowned uh, art collector. So it's, a, it's an amazing piece behind the bar. A lot of people come to just see that. The images around Bar Louie are from the same famous photographer of Andy Warhol's heyday, Christopher Makos. The vibe here pairs well with Chef Bobby's creations. Appetizers, a la carte Spanish ham, steak and eggs, yes, but not what you think. You marry that with the duck egg and the way that it's cooked and prepared and you've never had a steak and eggs like that. We just had to sample a few menu items and one long running favorite. So Steve joined us for a few favorites. All right, now it's time to dive right into these delectable dishes on the new menu at Bar Louie here in downtown Milford. We've got a couple appetizers here, Steve, and we're gonna get to the sushi pizza in just a minute, but first, these tacos look like they are delicious. Uh, what you have here is a Filipino chicken and pork adobo. Steve, those tacos are amazing. I'm thinking, though, these cocktails really pair well with this. This is called the Dragon, right? Yes. This is made with Patron Silver Tequila, St. Germain Syrup, and uh, dragon fruit. Cheers. Now for something I've had before, the sushi pizza. This is kind of like a fan favorite here at Bar Louie, but you're doing it a little bit differently this time, right? So it has ahi tuna, tobiko, and then the sticky rice is fried in the tempura. We're on to the main course now, and this new menu really has a lot of fun options, including what you might not think of when you're having dinner, but steak and eggs. Yes. Tell me about this piece right here. 
Well, this falls into that category of satire, right? Because when you hear steak and eggs, you think brunch. Um, but wait till you take a bite of this. It, it is the best steak and eggs you've ever had. Steak and eggs at dinner, Jim Hamill approved. So this is the Iberico ham. So this is the, the Spanish ham that was imported over from Spain. Uh, it's been cured for about three years plus. Let me know what you think. All right, first time sampling. Here we go. Boy, that's so rich. It would take me a while to come up with the words because it is so, so good. It's that's good. fantastic. Deep flavors. Is that, really that's the way does. people say it. It's like the flavors are so deep, I don't even know how to describe them. Right. These are fresh, made in house, warm donuts with a caramel drizzle on top. I'm telling you, like, it's funny to go from my Barrico ham to this, but I'll tell you, it just tops it all off. Steak and eggs, very much a breakfast food, and now you got donuts. You're making me think that you want us to stay longer than just the evening. Exactly. <laughs> That's really good stuff, man. Thank you so much for having us here on Pocono Television Network and, of course, Pocono Mountains Magazine. Get to Bar at Louie in downtown Milford here for its whole new experience. This place is amazing, so is the staff, and uh, certainly get something on the menu here that makes you uh, never forget your experience right here at Bar Louie. We'll see you next time. Harvey, when you're watching PTN, thanks for being here first of all. And PTN is the Pocono Television Network. One of the cool things we get to do is we get to talk to the folks who operate our businesses here and host the thousands and thousands of folks who visit us every year. And this is one of the best places in Pike County. It's the Demick Inn, located in Milford, again, in Pike. And we're happy to be here with the owner, Andrew. Andrew, how long have you guys been here? It's been a while. We've been here 14 years. Demican's been here since 1828, which is 194 years. Uh, we're still running strong, um, having fun, cooking, doing what we do. And um, that's where we're at right now. And you guys do a really, really great job of that. I know right behind us, you guys have a great pizza oven. The pizza here is top rate. You and I were talking beforehand a little bit just about some of the other stuff that you guys specialize in. Can you tell us about that? Sure, we, we have the wood-fired pizza, obviously big seller. Everything on the menu really is seasonal, so we try to bring in new, new items, uh, winter, spring, and fall. Uh, summer items become more salads and uh, more healthy items. What I really love about this is the outside seating, so you have indoor and outdoor, right? We do, we do. We seat about 100 inside. When the porch is open, we seat about another 60 to 70 guests. One of the things I think was really fascinating, you said you were here 194 years. Nah. What were some of the things this property was over that time period? It was an inn. It was a stagecoach, uh, which had a post office as well. A stagecoach like depot? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. So Samuel Dimmick, who was uh, the actual owner at the time, had a daughter named Fanny. And uh, Fanny took over the business. I understand she's been a guest since She's then. still a guest. She, she hasn't left yet. So um, she's been here since uh, the beginning. Since 1828. And, uh, 1828, maybe okay. before, that's as far as I know. And uh, once in a while, we'll feel her go through, definitely. How do you feel her go through? Uh, we've seen orbs, uh, we've seen some uh, things happen here, people walking past when there's nobody there. So she's a friendly guest. She's a friendly guest. Very friendly. She likes to have guests. Loves it. Make sure we keep the building tip top shape, and uh, that's what we do. You and I were talking a little bit beforehand about when you were at the bar. And there, and there was nobody, How, what was that one Yes, about? it was uh, me, my brother, and uh, another employee. We were closed, and something we heard upstairs above the bar, which is a lounge area, full. So I was like, you know, nobody's here. So we went upstairs, opened the door, and a four-legged chair was on the floor. Right there, we started saying, this is real. So you've actually, when you were in the basement, too, you you felt Basement, I've seen her walk past us plenty of times. Uh, she's just trying to get to her destination, I think. How long has it been operated as a restaurant? Do you know that? Since 1828. I mean, uh, it's always been a bar, restaurant. It's been through a couple of different hands. We purchased it in 2008 from uh, Ed and Karen Loshon, and ever since then we've had it, which is 14 years now. So you just went through a really significant renovation, right? We did. We just did the whole kitchen over, brand new, all new hood systems. The bar was uh, replaced as well, uh, but kept the character. It brought back the tin ceiling to the original uh, tin, I should say. A lot of other work as well. We did the floors, brought in a beautiful pizza oven, as you see. Everything's going well. So then the ceilings are like the original colors of what somebody would have come and had seen in 1828, right? Exactly. Right? I have pictures of them actually with that color. Where did the guests 
in the in 1820s when they came here were they coming through from New York or do you know I, that? they were coming from everywhere um, this is a big destination spot for which it is now too and um, from what I know they came from New York New Jersey um, Connecticut so what do you see as being next for the dim in, in the future it's uh, we're just taking it day by day and uh, seeing what people need what they want uh, I think we're uh, trying to give them everything they need and it's working it's working so far you know people seem to be happy well 194 years i would right. say a lot of people right. are happy andrew thanks so much for being with us we really appreciate it and sharing all these moments with us because that's what our guests really love and just as a reminder we're at the dimmick inn in milford which is one of the premier properties here in the pocono mountains the menu is amazing the pizza the burgers all that kind of stuff the seasonal things you may be able to get here and andrew told me be just before there's also a lot of seasonal craft brews here too, like say from Well and Paul Pack Brewing. So you gotta come here and enjoy it. You'll probably see Andrew, he's around all the time. So for the Pocono Television Network, I'm Chris Barrett. We'll always appreciate the fact that you're watching. Have a great day. The Dimigan in Milford and Bar Louie also in Milford. Both perfect spots to sample the delicious dining in store for you during Pocono Mountains Restaurant Week. Head to PoconoMountains.com to learn more, including those special menu items and discounts only available April 7th through the 12th. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. We'll have a new episode each week highlighting lots of the fun things you can experience while you're visiting the Poconos. Subscribe to the podcast, leave a review, and or comment on whatever platform you listen. Celebrate our great restaurant scene and our chefs that make it happen during restaurant week. Enjoy. The Pocono Mountains is the best when it comes to creative food and beverage. Why not try something new? Or sample our international flavors. And mountain favorites. These are the most delicious weeks of the year. You just have to know when it is. Visit PoconoMountains.com. We're back. Thanks for listening to Pocono Mountains Podcast. I'm Jim Hamill. We also featured the newest spot for a great Mexican dish at Kalahari Resorts and Conventions when it opened, Cinco Niños, named for the five kids of the company's owners. They, too, are taking part in Restaurant Week. Enjoy. Hey, it's Jim Hamill, and you know that Kalahari Resorts and Conventions has the massive indoor water park for all kinds of families to come and enjoy. But now, here in the lobby, they have a brand new restaurant called Cinco Ninos. It's a family Mexican place where you can get a bite to eat any time of the day. Come on along and sample it with us. The beautiful colors, the beautiful architecture, it's really re-inviting. So when you walk in that door, the first thing that Cinco Ninos is doing is just sucking you right into it. PTN was lucky enough to get an invite to try out the new menu at Cinco Ninos, including what else but some fresh margaritas. I'll do chili and salt room today. Okay. All right, so now we've got our spot here at Cinco Ninos at Kalahari. My buddy Kevin First, not last, is here with us right now. He does all the social media for the Pocono Mountains and Pocono Tourism and PTN. So I got the first course, Kevin's got his first course. This is the house margarita, and this is the prickly pear margarita. Excited to try it. I don't think Kevin's that prickly though, but he's gonna sample this. Let's give it a go. Cheers, man. Ooh. Now that's how I like to do family vacations. The food is all from scratch. So the people are really, really enjoying it. The bar is absolutely amazing, as you can see. We have the largest tequila and mezcal bar in the entire Poconos. All right, we're back at the table. Kevin and I are looking at our main courses right now. Everything looks delicious, but first things first, protect the PTN <laughs> shirt. We've got a fruit smoothie uh, with jalapeno and mango. Uh, and then we also have a shrimp cocktail. Cheers to the shrimp cocktail, my friend. Wow. And everything's fresh, made right here at Cinco Ninos at Kalahari. That's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. We were looking for a place that we didn't have yet. We have a great Italian restaurant. We have a great steak restaurant. You know, DC and Sortino's. Now we have Cinco Ninos. 
Cinco Ninos is named for Kalahari's owners, five children. I have two kids myself and know just how much my daughter Prudence enjoys the indoor water park from a previous adventure here on Pocono Mountains Magazine. It's a family place, right? And we want your family to come here and enjoy their time here. So you can come in here, do everything under one roof. Is that another shrimp in there? There's shrimp in the cocktail. All right, Kevin, we have now reached our final course. This is dessert time, and Cinco Ninos does it better than just about anybody else out there with a whole array of churros and different decadent things here. Which looks like your favorite here right now? I'm thinking the chocolate taco for sure. Chocolate taco, everybody. Let's dig right in. Oh man, that was delicious. Sean, I had a great time here having all the great eats, the great drinks, the great desserts here at Cinco Ninos at Kalahari Resorts and Conventions, but running a little low here. Absolutely, let me get that next round for you right now. Thank you, my man, I appreciate it. That's it from here, guys. Jim Hamill for the Pocono Television Network. Cinco Ninos, one of plenty of restaurants you can check out with special menus and discounted items for the week of April 7th through the 12th during Pocono Mountains Restaurant Week. Head to our website, PoconoMountains.com, to learn more. And we'll be back next week with another podcast diving in deep to the entire Restaurant Week plans for settlers and... That should be a good one there with the chef. We hope you enjoyed Pocono Mountains podcast. Please remember to subscribe anywhere podcasts are available. Come visit us in the Pocono Mountains. Plan your trip today. Mm -hmm.